March 2022, in partnership with the Royal Thai Police and the Bavarian Police, the Hans Seidel Foundation, or HSF, conducted a regional police training conference in Phuket, Thailand. Unlike previous training conferences, this activity consisted of plenary sessions and three sub-conferences as follows. Sub-conference and workshop of the use of electronic learning management systems of ELMS developed by the Bavarian police and how these may be adapted and or applied to the participating country's police training organizations. Subconference and workshop on promoting the role and strengths of policewomen in the conduct of community oriented policing. Subconference and workshop on police training needs in response to cyber and cyber related crime directed towards online exploitation and abuse of children. Participants included police officials who can influence police training programs as these relate to the use of ELMS, promoting the role of policewomen in community oriented policing activities and addressing internet related crimes against children. From my side, uh, very, very, very much welcome uh, to come here uh, to Thailand. Uh, so we are really, really proud that we have the first international conference since uh, a couple of, of years and we are so happy that we can meet uh, again. We organized these kind of conferences in Southeast Asia already for more than eight years um, through the Hans Seidel Foundation office in the, in the Philippines. The goal for us, for Hans Seidel Foundation, of these kind of conferences is really an exchange is a dialogue between you, the police officers from various countries in Southeast Asia. Then it's a recommendation coming from the conference. It's not a recommendation coming from one specific country or one specific person. No, it's just an outcome from this conference. I think that's quite important to say. We have been involved in international cooperation for more than 40 years with special focus on development cooperation. Today, we are working in more than 50 countries worldwide with a special focus on contributing to sustainable development by enhancing peace, democracy, rule of law and good governance. A citizen-oriented police is a central pillar of rule of law and good governance. And even more, a citizen-oriented police is the interface between society and the executive authority with a decisive influence on the democratic design and repu reputation of the state. A citizen-oriented police also protects citizens exercising their fundamental rights and therefore contributes to democracy, peace and development. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, after a long time we are now able to exchange ideas personally at a conference. Although the contact has not been completely broken off even in times of the pandemic, we have already held several online conferences. It's something completely different when you can exchange ideas face to face. I would like to take this opportunity for sincerely thank the Hans Seidel Foundation which made it possible for the network of the police forces in Southeast Asia to meet and exchange ideas with the Bavarian police here in Thailand. Being the product of digitalization, electronic learning management systems, or ELMS, are crucial to the development and training of police officers the Bavarian police provided insights, approaches, considerations and practices to initiate a blueprint for Southeast Asian police agencies. So the first one was how to use an LMS. What is important? What do I need to know? Because we implemented a new system, the LMS, we had to show them how they can use it. And I assure you that's a long way because you have, as in general, to go for small steps and then go step by step. Actually, the main goal we have is we want to have a well-trained staff. The staff knows how to use all the equipment we gave them. 
and who will be still after a time of teaching motivated. So you get the modern equipment into the force by the trainees. That's the cheapest and the effective way to get it. Sometimes I think to improve network because a uh, 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 police school is far from the center. Yeah. Network is really significant because the uh, entire has many, uh, just only 3G, not 5G. My, my opinion is to have uh, one dedicated team to plan, to plan on it. We can uh, put first our objective, mm. what, what our objectives are, what is uh, what we will play, then from then we can uh, put our, what will be our next move. In reality, learning management system is that, uh, it's a very challenging part in implementing our organization. Most especially in the Philippines, that we are in belong to the third world countries, that we don't have enough uh, uh, funds, budget. Well, I will say that we need, need we need not to remove the existing system of conducting the training, but uh, we must also understand that learning management system will help to enhance more or to motivate our training trainees or the police organization. Plan, trying to establish your ELMS, you do the rollout, what tends to be the rollout needs, that is uh, establishing or uh, creating the whole implementation of the ELMS, so that is to include uh, teaching your users on how to do it, that is the admin, the people who is going to manage your ELMS, teaching your teachers on how to go about using your ELMS, and lastly, trying to teach your end users or your trainees on how to go about or how to use your ELMS. The limited courses is the uh, most important uh, obstacle that block us to develop. And then I know that the local police have no opportunity much to access many courses. So at the Royal Thai Police, we have various kind of things that we would like to turn to the police to be trained and get back to have the high capability. But the limited of budget, we cannot provide own courses for everybody who come to the class and get trained, 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 and then back to work and change, cannot. In, in the police world, e-learning is come to fill the gap. Software. Do you want? Do you have people where? Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Networking. Network. Uh, database. 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 Material and that that input. Uh, include that skill, knowledge, and attitude. So with, with deter determination, we can determine what um, what activities can be incorporated in the LMS. The only you know, solution to uh, solve this problem is about applying the technology uh, in uh, police training. And um, uh, if uh, we uh, to, uh, to apply the technology advanced in uh, police training, we uh, in Vietnam we have uh, lots of uh, we have had lots of challenges. The first one is about the, the budget, the financial the budget. Uh, it requires a lot of the the, finance, uh, the the money. The second is about the infrastructure. Uh, we we also have the we have also the new uh, new infrastructure and the process to uh, to apply the in, in education uh, police training. I want to offer this system to our chief so that uh, for the deployment of the, if you know, for police unit or individual police officer of United Nations mission can use this learning system. We tend uh, to see that uh, many people would like to join in person than the, the uh, learning system. But uh, during COVID-19, we significantly see the increasing of the request of online learning and uh, but ourselves we have not uh, invest the infrastructure 
uh, by our own death, but however, we also have the connection with the Interpol in Interpol Global Learning Center. Learning method. Uh, how can uh, teach in the new media for the uh, participant in the school or in the uh, forest training? Now, uh, in this section, I want to share and to know for the three or four part. The, the one is a, what is the hardware to support for LMS uh, for police? The second is software. What is the software to fit and so on? So, TikTok or the other mm -hmm. to fit for the training and people wear. Yeah. Teacher or trainer, what uh, capacity? To, to improve this. The Hans Seidel Foundation, together with Southeast Asian police agencies, have worked to promote the role and strength of police women since 2018, especially in the conduct of community oriented policing activities. Police women are of vital importance. The principle is to respect human dignity and human rights. Just if the police can prove that we treat everybody equal, equal treatment for me also includes equal treatment of men and women. So to provide the same opportunities for everybody, even in our police forces. The network of the women in the police is very, very important. And that is the most important thing why we are all here. We recognize each person's circumstances and, and needs. And uh, each individual is provided with the exact resources and opportunities uh, they need. We must legalize the policy so we, we can take a proper action to achieve the objective. We want to fight for equality and the same equity. But we must uh, realize we must have a source of power to fight this thing. So we must have support from our superior, from our organization. And in fact, only three police women in the highest position. And not surprised, all of them are not in the operation. Feel. They are in the financial, they are in the logistics. This is a always challenge for a police woman in your country as well. I would say that it's really great time for, for females to meet each other, to create the, our connection and also to realize, recognize our strength and to promote our role in the police department. Community, 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 uh, relations, yeah. community support. Only eight years ago, that the Thai cabinet passed a resolution uh, which says that all public organizations must be equipped with sex-based harassment prevention and resolution guidelines in the workplace. It's only eight years ago, not long at all. We need to reach the, the level that our female agree that we should work together, we should understand each other, mm -hmm. we should sharing and find yeah. solutions and empowerment yeah. us together. Yeah. Online sexual exploitation of children grows with digitalization. The Hans Seidel Foundation therefore works closely with Southeast Asian police agencies to promote dialogue and information exchanges to combat cyber and cyber-related crime against children. The 
สู้กับปัญหาภัยออนไลน์นะคะโดยภารกิจของเราเนี่ยส่วนใหญ่จะเป็นการทำงานเชิงป้องกันนะคะให้ความรู้สร้างความตระหนักให้อยู่กับสื่อออนไลน์หรืออินเทอร์เน็ตอย่างปลอดภัยและสร้างสรรค์นะคะซึ่งในช่วงแรกเนี่ยเราจะทำงานกับเด็กและเยาวชนเป็นหลักครบทั้ง5 5้าพีนะคะพีแรกก็คือพื้นชั้นก็คือป้องกันก่อนเกิดเหตุนะคะเมื่อเกิดเหตุเราก็มีการ protection ด้วยนะคะแล้วเราก็มีเรื่องของการเคลื่อนนโยบายก็คือ policy มี partnership นะคะทำงานเป็นเครือข่ายแล้วก็ prosecution เนี่ยเราก็ทำงานกับ law enforcement เยอะแยะเลยนะคะ In Thailand the social workers need to have like a letter from the police to go to the hospital like um, this is the victim of this case they need um, physical examination or Mental examination. Shelter for children. We provide them. Uh, for example, uh, Christmas is approaching. We have to do Thanksgiving for them to be, for them to realize that they are not victims and they are still part of the society. Yeah. I think the, the dynamic idea is, 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 is a problem for many many countries. Yeah. Is it a technical? It's not related with the law, because you know um, when the IT, when 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 the the bad guy or the actor use the the, the VPN, VPN. Mm -hmm. or some uh, private network, the, the the IP address will be changed. Yes. Yeah. Every 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 network when uh -huh. when they yeah. and the data go to the the, the network. Everything is is connected to the net. Exchange the information directly and discuss it, and this is really very, very helpful, and it very uh, speeds up the information flow. Most of case is uh, use of bank account to to go in the chart the children. So when we found uh, the real account, we can uh, track it, but when we แต่ว่าด้วยความที่พยานหลักฐานที่เป็นไซเบอร์นั้นเนี่ยนะครับมันเข้าถึงยากแต่ทำลายได้ง่ายการทำไมเรานั่งคุยกันเฉพาะเจ้าหน้าที่แต่ในประเทศไทยแต่เพียงอย่างเดียวขอบคุณ Han s e d e l Foundation อย่างยิ่งที่จัดเวทีนี้ขึ้นมานะครับทำให้มีการประสานงานอย่างแน่นแฟนของเจ้าที่บังคับใช้กฎหมายในอาเซียน The information is the same so Thailand we have the the information from the NECMEC yeah oh. it is a uh, cyber tip or no you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. report yes I was thinking about <laughs> yes so it's easy for investigators sure it's got we have yeah they do everything you have everything <laughs> everything yes yeah. 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 feature and yeah. yeah. location for example the investigation of the police mm -hmm. are already done mm -hmm. and they are sentenced for about 10 years mm -hmm. who will take custody or oh, the 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 suspect yeah because uh, he is still under 18 right yes Normally, we will send uh, the suspect to the juvenile school, something like that. Uh. With all three sub-conferences coming to an end, the participants gather together in the main conference hall for a plenary session. This presents participants the opportunity to share their output and experiences, as well as make recommendations. Uh, we will reach consensus on identified strengths and areas of capability improvement, and we will see the next steps to prepare for launching uh, ELMS as well, to learn how we can move the police training, how we can get more people to be trained, how we can invest in that with free, how we can better develop our system to get the better officer to be served for the nation. That aim to help connect chain of the teaching and learning. And then from that, we can prepare the hardware, software, or digital devices that's suitable for the ELMS. After that, we can create our learning platform to get everybody go on board by existing at home on their mobile or laptop. And after that, we can get the result 
the testing, the testimonial, the, com uh, the feedback and comments in order to improve for the future training. The next is for the government and infra uh, infrastructure support. That's why we come to here today and we want, would like to, give, to, to thank you, the Bavarian Police and the Hans Seidel Foundation to create this course and bring us to the same days, the same pace. So what is the future of networking for police women in Southeast Asia? There have been recommendations to come up with our own website that will be managed. So that is so where, again, the, the, the previous parameters that I've mentioned, that is where we will continuously share best practices and um, concerns or anything that may be of help to our counterpart countries. A special training was mentioned a while ago about the transformational leadership for female police officers. And of course, continuous information sharing, especially on best practices. This may be done through online, through conferences like this, and even um, correspondence through digital platforms. We need maximum confidence, maximum co cooperation, yet to fight against cybercrime, especially online exploitation and abuse of children. We have realized that there is a need to empower our women policemen, not only in terms of uh, the career advancement, but also in, the, in line with policing. And also in terms of cybercrime, we were able to collaborate uh, in our group and we were able to discuss what we have and what we do not have in our country and we were able to uh, acquire new understanding which may be applicable in our country. But we are officers, we need to protect, we need to prevent the crime before it happens in the real world, right? So it's, maybe it's time for us to, to try to uh, release or try to you know, delete the demarcation line you know, between your country and my country. So it's time for us to, and to work together. And once we work together, we will win crimes and transnational organized crime. You need the white right people. What do you need for the white right people to get the white right people? You need qualification, you need education, and you need, as I said earlier, a police philosophy. And for all that, every policeman is responsible every day, everything he does. But also at the very beginning, of course, training and education is the part. Toleranz der Polizeibeamten ist ein Markenzeichen. Und ich, das ist vielleicht einer der Faktoren, warum, wie Bernhard es gerade auch erklärt hat, dieses Vertrauensrating so hoch ist. Weil wir eben auch unter schwierigen Umständen kompetent und überlegt handeln. Gerade in schwierigen Zeiten zeigt sich, wie gut und wie kompetent eine Polizei ist. Wenn alles toll ist, dann kann es jeder. Wenn es schwierig wird, zeigt sich der Profi. Hans Adel, gut in uh, managing the, the knowledge give us many, many things that helpful. Share the good practice among us, among the delegation. To exchange their experiences. Do the collaboration among the police officers so that we can communicate more intense. It will help us uh, to make save money, effort and time. These uh, conferences are very, very important for the exchange of uh, the friendship of the police and all the experience and the knowledge of police work. This is just the first step uh, on, a, on a greater exchange of ideas and it's an ongoing process. We never imagined that this conference can really happen and we have so many uh, host, uh, so many different participants from different counties. So I would also like to extend my gratitude to all the participants from other countries. And this is really the first conference in two years and I really, really appreciate that you are all here.